Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and install Cisco Packet Tracer for Windows 10 or 11. Before we start, hurry up and check out our little software just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up any browser that you have right now. In this case, I'm going to use Google Chrome. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to search for Cisco Packet Tracer. So in this case, you can just type in the following Cisco Packet Tracer and from here, just press on enter. Now from the search result, what we need to do next is we need to look for the website that says Cisco Network Academy. In this case, make sure that it has the Cisco Packet Tracer uh, in it in its title. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now what we need to do next is we need to scroll down a bit here and you should see the getting started with Cisco Packet Tracer. Just click on view course. Now from here, it's going to say your discourse is now improved and available on a new website. So before they have it on a previous website, but now they transfer it to the new one. So in this case, what we need to do, just click on the scales for all link here and it should redirect you for the skills for all uh, Cisco Packet Tracer page. Now from here, we need just, just to click on the get started button here. And once you've clicked on it, what we need to do next is we need to log in or create our account. Now, in this case, you could actually create your account in this page here. So let's just wait for it to load up. But in this case, we want to sign up. So let's go and click on sign up. And in the sign up page, what we need to do next is we just need to fill out all the necessary details. So in this case, you just need to either sign up with your Google account or manually fill out all the details here. But in this case, I actually want to use my Google account. Let's go ahead and choose Google here to make things a lot easier for us. From here, let's just choose our email. And once you've chosen your email, just click on continue. And once you've hit on continue, you should be able to see the next page, which in this case, it's going to ask you a few questions. So in this case, your country residence, your birth, and month of birth. So let's go ahead and answer all these questions. Now here, it's now going to ask you what's your first name and your last name and your email. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, it should redirect you to the next page, which in this case is going to be terms and conditions. Now in this case, you could just read through all of this one and click on I have read. And in this case, just click on accept and continue. Now, once you've done that, you should be able to see the course again or the actual course. And the first thing that you'll see here is the installation section for Cisco Bucket Tracer. Now in this case, just scroll down a bit here until you see the download section. Just click on the download Cisco Pocket Tracer here. Click on the link that you see here and it should redirect you to the resource hub. Now from here, just scroll down a bit here and you'll see the learning resources here. It's going to give you the steps to actually install it. Now choose the appropriate uh, uh, installer that you have here. So if you have Windows, make sure that you click on Windows. Let's go ahead and click on Windows here. And from here, it's going to download the .xf file. Now this might take some time, so let's uh, wait for it. But for now, let's going. To, uh, you could go ahead and just read uh, through the uh, installation uh, section here. In this case, you just need to launch the .exe file, launch the pocket tracer by selecting appropriate icons, and when prompt, click on skills for all green button to authenticate. Now Cisco pocket tracer will launch, and you are now ready to explore its features. In this case, let's just wait for the installation file to complete. Now, once the download is complete, just click on the download button here and open up the .exe file. Now, once you click on it, it's going to ask you if you really want to install. Just click on run here and it's going to start the installation process. Now, in this case, just uh, let's just wait for the installation to complete. Click on yes for any administrative access required. And from here, you just click on I accept the agreement and click on next. Now, from here, you can just go ahead and choose the folder where you want to install it. Just click on next again. Click on next again and from here you could choose the option to create a desktop shortcut if you want to. Let's go ahead and click on next and click on install. Now from here it's going to install or start the installation process. So it's going to extract, file, extract files and in this case let's just wait for it to complete. Now in this case it should complete the installation process. Just click on the finish button here and that should launch the Cisco Pocket Tracer. In this case it's going to ask you would you like to run multi-user when application start. You could go ahead and click on yes or no. Now, in this case, as you can see, Cisco Pocket Tracer is now uh, booting up. It's going to ask you if Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some features. Just click on Allow Access to allow it into your PC. And in this case, you can go ahead and just click on uh, Cisco Networking Academy Login or Cisco Skills for All uh, if you want to uh, sign in. But in this case, that's how you download and install Cisco Pocket Tracer. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, Hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.